Hey, so I'm John, and if you haven't heard about me before, I teach other people to start their online businesses, and I've been doing YouTube for a number of years now, and I continually see in the comments of my channel people still believing that the college is a way to make money, and I absolutely disagree, and I this, is, this video is a little different from what I usually make, um, because I actually just want to talk to talk to you and explain what college is really useful for and who should be going to college and who should not be because most people should not be going to college. And what's really baffling to me is all of my friends who graduated college, you know, they graduated around the same year as I did, 2010. And very, very, very few of them ever ended up in a career that they majored in or did they get a job because of whatever they majored in. You know, all my friends who got good jobs ended up getting them because of personal connections. And it, it had nothing to do with their major. It had nothing to do with the fact that they graduated college. Uh, it had everything to do with that this was something they pursued, you know, on the side. And he was in Guatemala, okay? He, that's, that's where he's from. And he was going to college. And he, he was running an online business while he was going to college. And he was sitting in class one day and out the window, he was just kind of daydreaming because he found class really boring. He was 18 years old at the time. And the teacher's parking lot was off to his left. It was out the window to his left. And same thing, he was going to college for business. And he was looking out the window and he was looking at all of the teacher's cars. And he's looking at them and he was taking account of what types of cars were teachers who were teaching in business how to be successful were driving. Honda, Toyota, Subaru, Subaru, Toyota, Toyota. And he thought to himself, why am I learning business from a teacher who is driving a Subaru? Think about it, right? Why are you learning business from somebody who's driving a Subaru. And they're not driving a Subaru by choice. They're driving a Subaru because they can't afford a BMW or a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or whatever that is. It doesn't make sense. And what he did, what Carlos did was that day, he actually just got up in the middle of class. He said, screw this. He got up in the middle of class and he just left. And he quit college that day, just in the middle of class. I mean, Carlos, Carlos is a, a you know, a big business person now. He runs an eight-figure business out here in LA. He's my best friend. We have a lot of fun. But he took a path less taken. And, you know, it takes a lot of self, self-confidence self to be an entrepreneur. I'm not suggesting it for everyone. But the point being is so many students are told to learn business. You need to learn from these teachers who don't have much success in business themselves. And it just doesn't make sense. And it doesn't make sense in a lot of ways. You know, if you want to learn these professions, if you want to learn art, go be an apprentice for an artist. Work for them for free. Just say, hey, can you pay for, you know, clothing? And could I camp in your backyard? Whatever, you know, but learn from somebody who's doing it, who's on the front lines every single day. That's how I learned. That's how all of my successful friends learn. I surround myself with a very high net worth of people and they all had some sort of mentor. They learned from somebody successful. They didn't learn it in school. And I've done a lot of research on this, right? I gave a talk at Burning Man last year because about the history of education, the history of education, how our education system came to be. Have you ever wondered what the history of education is? Have you ever wondered if people 150 years ago all went to school or university or elementary school? They didn't. 200 years ago, people didn't go to school. People weren't required to go to school. The whole concept of mandatory or what's called compulsory schooling in this society, in the world, is actually a very new concept. And it came about about 150 years ago. Now, why do I tell you this? I tell you this because I want you to think for yourself. I tell you this because I want you to question what you're being taught. I'm telling you this because I've continually questioned 
what is real throughout my life. Now, I'm not going to go into my crazier conspiracy theories, but the fact of the matter is, education is not built to help you think for yourself. The only person who can help you think for yourself is you. So understanding the history of education, don't buy into this system hook, line, and sinker. It has its uses. Learning is something that has been around since the dawn of time, and it's a very useful thing. Continual learning is definitely the path to success. But if you don't question the reason why you're doing something, and I see so many college students, I see so many young people going to college completely blind simply because they are directionless, confused, and they don't know what they want to do, that I think it's a major moral failing of our society. And I believe something needs to be done about it. And hopefully this video reaches a few of you now. If you think uh, there's there's some truth to it, let me know. But talk to you soon. Make sure if you if you like this video, share it with others because I believe others need to hear about this content. Share this video with as many people as you can or on your Facebook if it helps, if you believe it will help somebody else. Talk soon. Thanks for watching.